So let's go ahead and take a look at the functionality that we've added within 2021 R1 in the areas of drop ships. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call up sales order number 6029, and we're going to go ahead and call up. You'll see it's a particular sales order, 6029. Now, what I want to bring to your attention is that we've done the mark for PO and the purchase to order, and that's functionality that exists prior to 2021 R1. But now what happens when I go to create the purchase order, what I want to show you is if I go to actions and create purchase order. So, so far, nothing's new. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that item and go ahead and process it. Okay. What it did is it created the normal purchase order. Again, I did not do a drop ship. In other words, this product is going to come into our warehouse. But one of the things I wanted to point out to you is that we now have this view sales order demand. So if I click that item, I can actually see the sales order that's associated with this purchase order. Okay. Now, I showed you earlier where the improvement lies, where um, when it's a drop ship, the information appears here. When it's a normal purchase order as opposed to drop ship, you will view the, view the information here. The other thing that you have the ability to do now is, um, again, if I call up an additional purchase order, so let me call up uh, purchase order 1470. And now what you're going to notice, folks, is that it's drop ship. But looky here, we now have a new status, and it's a waiting link. Well, because it's drop ship, we're expecting it to be linked to a purchase order, excuse me, a sales order. So from here, and again, it, there's a warning, right? Yep, it's not linked, all right? Um, so then what you can do is you can manage the ability to create a sales order directly from here. Now, again, I, I don't know um, how widely used it is. I'm going to be honest. I have not run across this particular scenario where I've created the dropship purchase order beforehand, but it is conceivable that you would need to do so. So here I could actually convert or create a sales order, or I could also convert to normal, meaning I'm going to no longer make it a dropship. It's going to be delivered to my warehouse. Okay. And then the other thing that you see here is unlink from sales order. All right. And the reason that's unenabled or not uh, accessible to me at this point is there is no sales order on this particular transaction. But if I go to drop ship, Okay, well, if it is linked to a sales order, you would be able to unlink it from a sales order at that point. 